Uh, good morning, guys. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Actually, no, it's 6. <laughs> Excuse my bra. Um, Ella, Ella woke up, and now I can't fall back asleep. So I have... I have Netflix going on right now. Hoping that, um, it'll help me sleep. I should actually turn the brightness down because it is a bit bright. No, actually, no, you can't really see. Um, just walking, watching some documentary about whales. <laughs> and yeah, I, I know, I have makeup on. <laughs> um, I feel like I can't sleep because I've just had so much on my mind recently. Just about, like, work and life in general. Like, I don't know, I was going through this thing where I wasn't sure if I was totally happy with a lot of things going on in my life. And I don't know, I just had, like, a lot on my mind. Yesterday was my husband's birthday. And we, uh, we really did do much. He doesn't really care for birthdays. He did go over his mom's at one point and Ella got to play outside. I do want to show you guys this app that I've been using. Um, I'll talk more about it when I like wake up, wake up. But it's a really, really cool, like, um, almost yard sale app. But it's really neat. So, I'll get more into that a little bit later. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so tired, but I've been having a really hard time. Oh, I'm back asleep. I've been tossing and turning for like an hour now. So, I figured we'll turn on the camera and talk for a minute. See if that gets me tired at all, which kind of is. <laughs> I'm yawning more now than I have been in the hour, so I'm going to try to fall back asleep again while I have a chance, while she's still sleeping. Maybe I can get in a couple more hours. What the heck is today? Friday? We'll do something today. The last couple of days have been really, really slow. Tuesday and Wednesday, we really didn't do anything at all, actually. <laughs> and, um... Today's Friday. I gotta get the winner's package sent out this weekend, so I actually have to go to the post office and I have a few questions for him. Figure out how much it's gonna cost me. It really should cost me that much. It's not a very big package. Oh, excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna try to fall back asleep. Oh, for a few more minutes. <laughs> supposed to fall asleep, Papa. Hey. Hey. Papa. Hey, Bubbles. <laughs> so, I'm so stoked because I feel like my channel is, like, not growing, but, um... Like, different things are coming to my channel. I'm so excited for some upcoming big projects that I'm working on for you guys for my channel and stuff. And I'm doing collabs. And this isn't a secret or anything, but me and Color Me Cassie. I don't know if you guys know her. She's a small YouTuber like me. She has more than me. I think she's almost at a thousand YouTubers. So, we're really small channels. And... Um, she had done a birch box video where we got the same, um, one of the same products, which was a, uh, concealer stick, and I was telling her, I was like, I got so confused how to open that concealer stick, and we kind of started talking, and I said, you know, would you be interested in collabing with me? You know, like, my subscribers can check you out, your subscribers can check me out, like, and I just, I love, I love collabing with people. I think it's so much fun. So, she said yes, so I sent her over. I said, well, Halloween's just around the corner. I said, here's an idea. I said, would you like to do this idea, or would you like to do something else? So, I just sent her a message with my idea, and I don't want to give my idea away, um... 
it wasn't even like, I don't even want to call it my idea. It was definitely something I've seen being done, but I thought I wanted to do it regardless of if I filmed it or not, but I felt like I should just film it because that's what I do. So I don't want to say it's like my idea because it's definitely not. Um, but I saw this being done and I really wanted to do it with her. And um, I don't think we live near each other. I think she's like over in the West um, a bit. So I figured, you know, we'll probably never be able to do like a sit down in real life video. So this might be a good way to do a collab without actually being together. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, I want to share you guys because I'm so excited. And if any of you guys, like if you guys have a YouTube channel or whatever, you know I love you guys. And I'm more than willing to do collabs. Like even if you're on the opposite side of the country or like another country, don't feel afraid to message me. I'm always checking my comments. I'm always checking my messages. So and like I said, I love collabing. I love supporting other people. So I just want to throw that out there. I know there was a few other people who wanted to collab who we haven't actually scheduled anything yet. I know my friend Brett is one of those, which Brett, I swear to God, I want to collab with you. It's just so hard to do because I have the baby all the time and filming with her is very difficult because I have to keep my eye on her and stop every couple of minutes. So doing a collab from my own home on my own time worked a lot better than actually sitting down with people. Um, you know, like I just posted that video with Amber. My husband was home watching the baby, so I can do that sometimes, but it's much, much harder. But I just wanted to share that with you because I'm so flippin' excited. So flippin' excited. She got back to me and we're gonna do this DIY. So, um, <clears throat> I messaged her. We're trying to talk about, like, when would be a good time to, um, film it and when would be a good time to post it. And she, I guess she's posting a DIY today, which is ironic because the day that I'm filming this, I just posted a DIY. It's already up, um, if you're watching this now. So she's like, I don't want to post two DIYs on one weekend. Would you mind waiting a week? I said, yeah, perfect. Like, you know, I'll film it sometime during the week. And, like, maybe we can get it up sometime during the weekend. So I'm just kind of going to go on her schedule, like, when she wants to post it. Because usually I post stuff like that on Fridays. Um, but I'm also very lenient with it. You guys know if, like, I'm excited about a video or just I kind of want to give you an extra video, um, then I do. I'll just post it on the same day a vlog comes up or whatever. Oh, something I did want to talk to you guys about that I'm really glad that I just remembered. This is about my live streams. I think I am going to take a break on my live streams, um, because... I think it's just kind of an inconvenient time for most of you, so most of you can't make it to my live streams, and the audience just has been going down, and I don't mind talking to one person, but I just kind of run out of things to say or talk about, um, and I just feel like my energy on my live streams have, have been going down recently. I don't know. Um, I just, I, I haven't been enjoying them as much as I used to, so I think until we can get the ball rolling again, I'm going to stop on live streams. Um, now, that doesn't mean, like, I'm going to stop live streams completely. There might be a day where I'm just bored and I hop on to just talk to you guys for a little bit you know then I will post a quick video to my channel saying like hey I'm live now if you have an opportunity to come but I feel like I just have to be in the zone to do a live stream because I know last Friday I just wasn't really feeling it but I know like the Friday before that I was busy and had to cancel so I didn't want to cancel for two weeks so I I did it anyways and I just I was really 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 tired and I felt like that was being portrayed through my live stream and I just don't want new people seeing me to think that's how I am all the time so I just want to let you guys know that my live streams are going to stop for now but if I do go on one day um I will be sure to <laughs> to let you know I just wanted to throw that out there real quick so I am just going to finish editing um I was watching um, one of Julia Graff's, um, uh, videos, but there's my Halloween DIY video that is up right now. It's a 92% for rendering, then I have to upload it, and then I have to, in case you guys are wondering, like, how I, um, organized, like, what I've already filmed and what needs editing and stuff, um, basically, I just have a whole bunch of folders on my desktop, like, drafts, um, 
finished videos go in here so when they're done um, rendering they go right into that folder so I can just upload them from that folder um, just a couple of other random folders I have new have to edit which these are all most of these videos have already been edited um, and uploaded I just got to get them out of this folder so we have a new makeup tutorial right here that's the one I have to edit this was the one with my husband. Um, you can see this one is my, um, woo, hello, <laughs> my breast cancer awareness. So once I have uploaded them and they're like posted, I'll take them out of here and put them into the draft folder. So that's just kind of a quick way to try to keep track of everything because everything can get so out of hand. Oh, you know what I do have to edit? I don't think I ever edited my witch makeup tutorial let me just check my finished folder my finished videos folder I don't think I ever edited that which I still have time that's not going up till Monday but I have to edit that one before I edit the next um, video yeah I, I'm not seeing it and then one after a while like once this starts getting fill, filled up I delete like all my videos and stuff because they're already on the internet they're there forever so um yeah I'll have to edit that but that's fine this is at 96 percent so as soon as this is done rendering I'll start on another video and just relax um when Ella gets up I have to go to my mom's again to do a little bit more laundry and I think that's it for today at least Ooh, Ella, we made some lunch. What do we got? We got some peas, and we got some of your favorite rice. It's just rice pilaf, and we got some mac and cheese. Baby, what do we do to food that's too hot? Show them how you blow on your food. Go. No, go. It's too hot. You know how to do it. You were just doing it, Baba. Go. She's like, I'm not having it. Ma, just feed me already. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so I decided I need to go grocery shopping today when my husband gets home and deposits his check. So that means I have to create a grocery list, which is really cool. I use, I am still going to show you that. Whoops, I ran out of space on my iPhone. I had to delete some stuff. Um, but I wanted to show you what I do for grocery shopping. So I just downloaded this app, which is just called Grocery List. So basically, I'm just waiting for... I'm sorry. Uh, this mess. My iPad is so cracked. I apologize for that. Can you see really well? I can't really see what I'm recording. So, you can create different lists. So, this happened to be my last grocery list. So, I had gone through my cookbook and got a lot. So, it's pretty cool. So, you can kind of like check it off as you get it in the store instead of bringing a piece of paper with you. So, I'm just unmarking everything. And then, I'm basically just going to go through this list and see what I still need and... Um, go through my kitchen and my bathroom to see if I need to buy any cleaners. I know I need toilet paper and a toilet bowl cleaner. Um, so just things like that. But at least this helps me with um, my grocery list. So let me actually switch over to my iPad now and show you the app on my phone I've been raving about. <laughs> Okay, so for some reason, when I tried recording this yesterday, it didn't record right. So I am going to... I have to do that, by the way. I am going to show you that app I was talking about yesterday. So it's called Close 5. So let me see if it'll focus. Okay. <laughs> so it's called Close 5. It's free to download in the App Store. It's going to take me a minute to load. Ella's literally, like, on top of me right now. Hi, <laughs> babe. What? No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to show him something, Bubba. It's going to take a second to... Okay. So, this first tab down here it says Discover. So, this... Bub, stop. This part shows pretty much, like, everything everyone is selling. So, this is a yard sale app. So, this app is for people who are just trying to... <laughs> Ella, hi, babe. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> Come here. Here, sit. Let Mama show this real quick, baby. You can watch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold you guys up. 
<laughs> okay, so this first Discover app is <laughs> showing everything. Actually, that kind of interests me. So let me click on it. Ella, you're making the camera shaky, baby. Hi, yeah. Yeah? So right here. So somebody Hi. is selling this. <laughs> and they're asking for $30. I'm so sorry. This is shaky, but... They're asking for $30 for it, so you can make an offer if you wanted to and put in the amount that you specifically want to offer. So if you're okay with paying $30, then you can put in $30. Um, if not, you can put in like $25 or whatever. So you type in the amount that you want to offer, and then if you want to say anything to them, like ask them a question or whatever, you can do that there. <laughs> But I am going to cancel out of that because I kind of wanted to find a more girly one for her. But anyway, so that's the discover part. Um, under search, you can search for specific things that you might be looking for. So I look oh, under... <laughs> I look under the baby and kids app a lot, but they have a lot. They have home goods, which is pretty good. A um, whole bunch of stuff. If you're yourself trying to sell something, this is the... Come on. This is the part for you, so you literally just take a picture of it or a couple pictures of it and um, write down how much you want to sell it for, so on and so forth. I haven't done that yet. Then you have your items. So these are all the items that people accepted my offer for. As you see, as soon as they accept your offer, um, they set you up with a private chat so you can figure out, you know, what time, where, blah, blah, blah. So I think I got this easel for $8. That kitchen set for like 10 I think that cart was 8 These toys were 2 Halloween decorations were 8 and the two throw pillows were $10. And then, down here, under favorites, these are uh, uh, offers that I put and either they haven't gone back to me yet, like these two are offers placed, they haven't gone back to me. I had to cancel that one because I kind of overspent up here. Um, but that's where your items are. And then you have your profile, which I have no activity. I don't know why because I have been, you know... Um, uh, doing this, you know what I mean, like purchases and all that stuff. I don't know if it's just for selling, um, but then people can follow you. You can follow people that sell stuff a lot. So it's a really, really cool app. I highly recommend checking it out. Again, this is what the um, thing looks like, the app icon. So I just got home from my mom slash grandmother's. I finally got my laundry done and out of the way. So we're back home. I'm hungry, so I'm going to heat myself up some food. And she can pick off my plate if she wants. She actually just had a yogurt, so I don't really think she's very hungry. Um, I'm just waiting for TJ to get home, and then we'll go grocery shopping. Um, I don't know if this interests you guys or not, but I love, like, grocery shopping haul type of things. And, um... Um, so when I get home, I, I'm going to record it. So the end of the video will be a, a grocery haul, if you're interested. I don't know. Um, some people are. Some people could care less. I'm one of those people that like it. Um, I hate that I do have to address something, though. This isn't the reason I started vlogging, but it's just something I just want to let you guys know. Um, I just received a... Um, uh, rude comment, which you're on rude. You, I almost said you're on RuneScape. What the hell? You're on YouTube. That's expected to happen. Absolutely. Um, and it's fine. Like, you're gonna have your own opinion. My day's not gonna get any worse because you want to say something rude or something mean or whatever. But just to let you know, those comments will be removed. And I'm not doing it because A, I don't want people to think that I'm perfect and everybody loves me and everybody loves everything I do or um, that I just want to get rid of it. I don't know. I just, I want you to know that I'm going to get rid of them specifically because I just don't want that on my channel. I don't want those negative comments. I don't want to have to keep rereading them every time I go to read my comments on that same video or whatever. So feel free to contact <laughs> to comment whatever you want uh, but just to let you know I mean until I can't keep up with them which, which sounds so bad I I really don't get many negative comments which is really sweet of you guys um, you know I'll get a negative comment every week or so like once a week if, if that to be totally honest um, I'm not bragging I'm just saying like 
I'm happy that I don't have to delete a lot of comments, you know, that's not what I want to do, but just fair warning, they will be deleted. Um, I just don't want that on my channel. But regardless, I can't can't call my husband because his phone is dead, so I don't know where he is or if he's on his way. Honestly, I think he'd be home pretty soon because he doesn't know that I'm not doing live streams anymore. This was a morning decision. Um, so he's really good with being home by 5.30 on Fridays, and it's 4.46, so he should be home within the next 45 minutes or so. So, But he's just going to run off to Home Depot, so I can run out to go grocery shop. So my plants are coming in quite nicely. I came outside to rake. You see all the pine needles? It's insane. Like I have almost no leaves, but it's like all friggin' pine needles. But anyways, I'm just checking on my plants. So was, this one's having a hard time keeping alive, but it's doing it. And then this one has a bunch of pine needles on it too. I actually bought these white ones. They were already like bloomed quite a bit when I bought them. But I'm just trying to clean off the needles. These are literally the most annoying things in the entire world. And then that one's doing fine. This one's hanging on, hanging on by a thread. And here's another white one that we had bought that was bloomed. And then this red one is, it's blooming as you can see. It's just taking a while, but it's weird because this, this side somehow looks like it's dying oh actually <laughs> that literally just popped off so i'm just gonna pull pull that out and just um burn it or something but yeah so I, these red ones are doing pretty well that one died but it came back that one's holding on and then oh I, did i buy three of my ones i must have and that cobweb actually just scared the crap out of me. And then that yellow one I had bought, and it wasn't very bloomed, but it's doing well. And it has a couple pine needles on it. So I'm just going to water my plants real quick. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited because the flower bed's holding up really nicely. The weather is obviously getting a bit cooler. But uh, I'm glad it's going, at least. I'm actually going to plug it. Excuse me. I'm going to plug in my ghost lights because it's starting to, uh, the sun's going down. And then I know if I don't know, then I never will. And I always forget to, always, always, always forget to plug, plug this in. So let me just, oh, why are you not reaching? Okay, that's weird. It's never done that to me before. Let's plug you in. Oh, ghosty lights. I should probably get more because <laughs> they only wrap around there but whatever let me just go water my plants real quick okay so i'm just actually leaving the dollar store um i was going grocery shopping and honestly there's a few things at the dollar store that you can genuinely get for like cheap <laughs> and it doesn't taste any different than what you get at like walmart where i'm going next um which is literally like two seconds away um but my husband's like, we, you know, we just need to be smarter with our spending and stuff. And he's like, he's like, I know it might be embarrassing to shop at the dollar store for food. But he's like, they have good shit there. <laughs> and they have it for a reason. So he said, use it. So that's what I did. And I totally felt like people were watching me. <laughs> I, maybe it's just in my head. Like, I feel like everybody there was there for the same reason that, like, just don't want to spend extra money or just want to be frugal but I got some good stuff that I'll show you guys when I get home I'll show you. I spent ten dollars at the dollar store mind you Ooh, and it's getting dark but that's okay we're like I just pulled out of the dollar store parking lot and we're about to pull into the Walmart parking lot that's how close close we are and there's that stupid Wendy's that always gets me <laughs> Okay, so we're pulling into Walmart right now. Um, I won't be able to vlog while I'm in there, only because TJ gave me a hundred bucks to spend, and he's like, "Try not to spend anymore." So I have to like keep cal like I have to use my calculator on my phone to keep track of what I'm spending. So that's why I won't be able to vlog. But I got my iPad somewhere. I put it on the floor over here. 
I got my iPad with my grocery list and that's all I need. So I'll see you guys when we're back home. How pretty the moon is. Alright guys, I know it's wicked dark. Please forgive me for just a moment with that. Let's get the crap out of me. Um, I'm proud. I'm proud of myself and I want to show you guys on top of my husband. Well, not show you guys on top of my husband. <laughs> Hang on. TJ? TJ? She oh. just wake. You didn't hear me come in? No. Okay, so if I told you that on top of all the food that I had to buy, and I got a razor, makeup wipes, and toilet paper. How much would you guess that I spent? 75 bucks. Oh, 87. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm so proud of myself. You should be. That's good. I, I wanted you to spend Usually when we go grocery 100. shopping, we spend at least like 150 So I was really proud of myself. How was the Dollar Tree? Beneficial. <laughs> Awesome. It was stupid. So cheap. Everybody was, wait, oh, you got the chills. <laughs> she was like. Um, Who cares what it, other people think? I, well, it was embarrassing. Can you take it from me? If you care what other people think, you want to be embarrassed. Well, they already know about the whole, like, stripper idea. Oh, my Lord. I, I tell them life. everything, Bob. I hate my life. It was really so embarrassing because I felt like everybody was watching me. Come out of here. Seriously, though. But I told them that I do a Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I got for... What? It's Shane's little here and I did some shopping. I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Shut grocery store. Shut up! <laughs> Everything that I got was for $87, which I thought was so good because usually when we go grocery shop, we at least spend 100 and something. 75 would have been better. Sit and spend. Kiss my ass. Anyways, so I want to show you what I got. Um, some of the stuff came from the dollar store and some came from Walmart. Now, just a disclaimer, I know not everybody will be, agree with my diet or like think everything I got is okay. This is our diet. Don't worry, you don't have to eat it. I just, what are you doing? I got you, bitch. Anyways, let's jump right into the haul. Oh, what are you doing to my child? Okay, so we're just going to kind of start everywhere things are everywhere so this came from walmart this is a chobani uh, greek yogurt i'm not a huge fan of yogurt but i really really wanted to try it because it is flavored and i like raspberry stuff so i want to give that a try maybe in the morning i got some grape welch's jelly for some sandwiches i got my favorite makeup wipes my say yes to cucumber face towelettes I also got a Venus Embrace uh, razor. I'm going to try to like, oh, I was going to say put it aside, but there's no place to put it. Um, let's see what else. I got some Mott's applesauce for Ella. I got a six, is this six? I think there's six eggs in here. I got uh, basically a knockoff of fluff for my hot chocolate. And then I got this. This is 100% Greek yogurt from you. Ooh, Lord, I almost broke the jelly um, from YoPlay. And when I bought it, I actually thought it was like the individual packets, but it's the bigger ones. But that's okay. I'll just have to put them in a bowl for Ella. She really likes this. Then I got this at the dollar store. I wanted to give it a try. It's called Gel Parfait. Honestly, it doesn't look bad, but I wanted to give that a try. Uh, also from the dollar store, I got two Hawaiian Punch drinks. I love Hawaiian Punch, and I figured these would be perfect for long car rides or if I'm just going to be out for the day throw it in my diaper bag um, I got some cleaners at the dollar store so I got just a basic toilet bowl cleaner um, this is a bathroom cleaner just like a sudsy bathroom cleaner I also got some sponges because mine was getting kind of old for my dishes I got some frozen veggies so I got green beans um, like a mixed veggie and sweet corn got devil's food cake which i'm actually going to make tonight because my oven's on got some baked beans and let me put these back down the frosting for the devil's food cake i got some dish soap which i actually got two of these 
from the dollar store. There's the second one. We'll move over here. I got um, toilet paper. <laughs> um, I got a whole bunch of these. These are actually really good and they're only a dollar. So I got some creamy chicken ones. Um, I got some just chicken flavored rice. Um, I got some paper towels or more, but they're on the floor. These were only like 58 cents and they're actually really good. They're, um, take one out so you can see super bland label but that's what that looks like and they're actually good what else what else um we have some simply lemonade which is my favorite lemonade i got some apple juice for ella got another gallon of milk because we go through so much milk the salt is not part of this all um i got a minute made just 15 calories fruit punch to try with ella um what else do we get okay we can start working on this pile so i got uh kellogg's cocoa krispies one of my favorite cereals i got some ritz crackers for ella she really likes these got a pack of star wars shaped mac and cheeses i love making mac, mac and cheese for l um a box of coca-cola i think there's 20 cans in here and is there anything else that i'm missing i don't think so think so that's all i got for the grocery haul i hope you guys enjoyed that just like mini mini haul like i said i love things like that when people include them in hauls so figured some of you might too i'm sorry i feel like this is going to be such a long vlog i hope most of you don't mind that but i will end it here i'm basically going to make the chocolate cake and my day is over so thank you so much for hanging out with us today and we'll see you tomorrow bye